Yo guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Jay Edwards here, back with another video. And by the title, you know what we're gonna be speaking about today. Forgive the fact that I have a do rag and hoodie on, but you know, times are hard right now. Still no trim, no trim, no trim. And literally, today is my birthday, which marks a year since the whole situation happened in relation to me being homeless and stuff. And a lot of you lots have been having a lot of questions into in relation to what has happened and how the way, like how am I feeling, how I've been coping, how I've been dealing with things. And the truth of the matter is, I really haven't been. And um, to be honest, leading up to my birthday, it has been a roller coaster, like literally. Because let me just explain everything. When everything happened, I didn't really acknowledge it to begin with like it didn't sink in up until like a month after i'm like oh, i'm actually homeless and i started to panic and this and that because you know it was just a shock to my system and i wasn't really deep in it like to the full fact that like, bro i'm actually homeless i actually don't have a home i was sleeping on people's floors i was sleeping in people's get it was just a whole like it was a whole mess to be honest and not only that i ended up losing my job and i wasn't even in college because i had to drop out because of you know the stress that i was going through and all of these different kind of things so that was just a whole nother like situation within itself and literally it has been a struggle like it has been a challenge mentally it has been straining i've been as you guys know i've been going through depression anxiety all of these different kind of things i've been trying to rebuild myself throughout the past year and this past year has been so difficult like i don't think you guys understand that like, it has not been the easiest year at all but um man's only worrying it so man's been trying to you know keep my head up and keep pushing months after everything was happened obviously like you know lies are still being told from a month's end and i'm still trying to find out where i'm going to live what's gonna happen this that and in the midst of all of that like i said before i had lost my job because they had said that oh like the amount of things that has happened in relation to that things that my mom has done and stuff they can't accommodate that as a business and therefore they terminated my contract and therefore you know i was out of a job and my finances were like that was just literally my finance my source of income gone and um I said to myself that do you know what like out of everything at least i could do is go back to college so guys my camera had died two minutes into the video yeah so i said to myself that i was gonna go back to college at least get my education because <coughs> corona <laughs> i had said to myself that out of like out of it all at least i can go back and get my education because a lot has been taken from me in terms of like my environment and mental state at least i can go back try to achieve something in terms of education try to get you know my free a levels and all these different kind of things because i've predicted high grades and throughout all of that you know if, like Obviously, me going back to college, that was very difficult because there was a reason why I left in the first place. So me having to reface all of that and plus my teacher was no help at all. Like, I felt like Satan sent that teacher to come antagonise me in that college. But, you know, like, it was it just wasn't easy at all. It wasn't easy. It wasn't an easy ride. And throughout all of that, you know, a lot of fake people were shown. Like, people that said, oh, like, um, you know, I'll always be there for you. Like, don't worry, I have your back. If you need me, I'll always be there. And then when they were actually needed, they were, no bit, they were nowhere to be found. Throughout all of this, this is the most alone I felt in my whole entire life because like it's just literally been me you know battling my thoughts and me trying to like just make sure i survive like as soon as everything happened i was put in straight away it was like survival how am i gonna survive how am i gonna do this how am i gonna do that and like when i released a video of me like you know telling my story a lot of the comments underneath was like oh like yeah it happens to everybody it's, it's, you're 18 it's about time that you leave your house and oh like people are going through worse and this and that and whatever whatever listen i give god thanks to the fact that i wasn't literally on the streets and i was completely broke you get what i mean i give god thanks because my situation could have been worse but i don't understand why in society it is so normalized within the black community that it is normal for you to be kicked out and be homeless at the age of 18 i don't understand that why is it normal for you to have a bad like relationship with your parents and all of these different kind of things because when you ask like other people within the, the black community it's like yeah i had a bad relationship with my mom when i was younger and it was only up until like later on in life where we sat down and and even that like most of them don't even sort things out as if like address the issues they just come back as, as if everything's normal in relation to me everything has been bottling up in terms of the way how i've been feeling like i am a person that never usually addresses the way how i feel nobody will ever go, like know what i'm going through unless i tell you throughout the whole situation like mentally it has been piling up piling up piling up and it's like I've just been pushing it to my subconscious, not thinking about it, just going about my life saying like, you know, I can handle this, I can handle this, I can handle this, handle this. And my body was just literally, I was just ignoring all sounds of that my body was telling me that you need to slow it down. Because immediately I was just trying to, you know, I was like, you know what? Okay, my job is gone. Now is the time to try to set up a business for myself. Now is the time for me to try to do YouTube. Now is the time for me to try to do this, try to do that. Go back to college, get your education. I was trying to do everything all at once and me not realizing that I am human. Like I had just been going, I, I had been going through a hard time 
and I didn't give myself a time to heal like like I had lost myself because I, th that was the most embarrassing time of my life like literally I was homeless I was put on the streets I had lost my job I had lost my car I had lost you know I was in college I had lost my home I had lost it like I, I was alone I had lost my sisters and all of these different kind of things like to me it was just it, it was hard didn't it and throughout it all like a lot of fake people a lot of fake energy was just you know a lot of a lot of fakeness was just trans transpired in front of me and that didn't make anything easy because you know when you're in a vulnerable situation like that like people take advantage and, and like you don't know who to trust because when you're telling one person one thing and then that person is running to that person and all these different kind of things so it's like you're in a vulnerable situation you feel like you need to talk but you don't know who to trust and I had said to myself by the end of 2019 I need to make sure that I'm out of this room in August I was able to find a room that I'm in now that I'm filming this video in like and to be honest guys it has been it hasn't been an easy like ride for me in this room because I see this room as a prison like imagine being trapped between four walls 24 hours of the day like there's not like there's nowhere for me to go it's just literally me stuck in a room it's like you're in a prison so that's how I feel and it's like yeah I'm grateful for a roof over my head but this is not that like, this is a situation that I always told myself that I would never allow myself to be in and to be in a situation where it's just literally me a bed and a tv and I'm try I've tried to make the room as comfortable as possible like I paint the walls put and be a light so like I've you know put there's a bed and da -da -da -da. I tried to make it as homey as possible but because it is not my home and going for a place where I was extremely comfortable as much like as bad as the household dynamic was where in my old home it was still my home if that makes sense it was still comfortable it was still clean it was still some place that I could feel safe in but then I'm in a situation where <clears throat> I've lost everything all at once my mental state has completely like deteriorated I'm living with strangers like all of that was just a hard hit for me to be honest it's not even like things were gradual I just had hit rock bottom and now I had to find my way to rebuild myself from the bottom as well as dealing with the mental aspect as with it as well and it's like yeah I'm grateful for finding the room as I've said before like I'm grateful to have a roof over my head but I'm not comfortable here whatsoever and, and my mind is just I've been trying to like you know, pad myself and be like, yeah, like, all right, cool, you have a roof of your head, work as hard as possible to sort things out. I didn't want to put myself back in another nine to five, a full time job, because number one, I wasn't even in the, like, it, I wasn't mentally prepared for that. And on top of that, like, <clears throat> I didn't want to put myself back in a job where I'm working for somebody else and somebody else can just literally take my source of income away just like that again. Like, I didn't, I just wanted to build something for myself. I wanted to be controlling my own finances, my own this, my own that, and I've been doing everything possible to survive. Like financially, it, I've been I've been alright. Do you get what I mean? Like I, I was able to figure out something and just like keep money going. But I, the main purpose of it all was for me to start a business, like get YouTube going, this and that. And throughout all of that, like obstacles were thrown at me. Like there was even one time that everything got so bad I ended up in hospital because I literally just had a mental breakdown and all of these different kind of things. Like in terms of like my mom. A lot of you have been asking me questions like have I fixed things between me and my mum and all of these different kind of things, how do you feel towards her, whatever, whatever. Whereas me and my mum stands, it's like, I don't hate her, I don't hate my mum at all. I complete, I'm, I'm, what I'm upset over is the fact that how can you turn your back on your own child? I've said this to her, do you get what I mean? Like how can you turn your back on your own child? How could you turn your back on your own flesh and blood? Like what did I do to you for you to do that to me? Like what was the reason? Do you understand what I'm saying? And it's like, there was never a viable answer. Like, I had suggested counselling to my mum and I said to my mum that what can we do to fix things? What can we do to fix things? What can we do to get back to a better place? What can we, what can we do together to rebuild a relationship? Because it can't be one-sided. I can't be trying and you not be trying. Do you get what I'm saying? It takes two to fix a situation because it's a broken relationship. Like the mother-son relationship has completely been shattered to pieces. So what can we do to rebuild that? She looked at me and said, as long as I'm around her, she's gonna be unhappy. She wants to prioritize her own relationship that she ain't gonna put her child's happiness before her own. Do you understand? And I'm saying that I I never I never asked to be born. Do you understand? Like I never asked to be born. I never asked to be born into this world. I'm your responsibility. Like I'm nobody else's but your own. How are you gonna turn your own son away? Walk for what it seems as if your own relationship. Do you understand? As long as somebody else is willing to change, there's nothing I can really do. And you know what I realized throughout all of this? Sometimes you have to go through certain things on your own. Like certain people are not supposed to bear witness of your greatness. Some people's not supposed to bear witness of your journey. Some people's just not meant to be there on your journey. Do you understand what I'm saying to you? And I just have to look at it that way because. Like, I don't want to put myself in a situation where I didn't want to let her back into my life for her to potentially betray me again, do you understand? I said to myself that I'm actually, you're, you're actually on your own now, it's literally up to you, like, 
here and now, you're literally, yeah, you're 18, I guess you're an adult. So what are you going to do? And through it all, like, that was the most hardest thing because my mind was just literally a war zone. Like, literally, when I tell you guys, the depression had been hitting me hard. Anxiety had been hitting me hard. Like, everything was just so difficult. And me dealing with all of that and still trying to keep my head afloat and still trying to make sure that I was okay financially, that I was still trying to push for YouTube. I was still trying to, like, figure out what business I wanted to start. Like, because listen to me, I had always been independent. I never had relied on anybody. I was working since the age of 13. Do you, do you understand what I'm saying to you? So I'm so appreciative for everybody that has reached out to me since I put out that video. Like I literally didn't expect it to do what you did Like honestly I didn't expect the views to be that much That was never the purpose, do you know what I mean? Like literally all I wanted to do was just look back up, Like in a couple of years time and be like Look at where I was and look at where I'm at now Like I wanted to look back at that video and be able to appreciate The fact that I was in that situation And just look back at it as a memory Like I can't like look what I went through And what I realised the other day was the fact that you know, how do you expect to appreciate life if you haven't gone through any struggles? Like, how are you supposed to appreciate your blessings if you never went through any struggles? And sometimes God brings you through certain situations because there's a greater blessing at the end of it all. And for you to appreciate that blessing, you have to go through the struggles, you have to go through the trials and tribulations, you have to go through certain things in order to appreciate certain things in life. And you know what, although like, I, I, I would have preferred this situation to not be given to me, in a way I'm grateful because struggle builds character in a way I have little sisters that look up to me and my sister even looked at me the other day and was like oh I want to be a YouTuber like you and I'm not even that, I'm not even bothering yet and she's like I just want to follow your footsteps and do YouTuber and this and that and whatever whatever like I actually have sisters that look up to me so I'm not only doing this for myself I'm not only trying to make a better future for myself I'm trying to make a better future for them also because I feel bad that I'm not there do you understand what I'm saying to you? I feel bad I'm not in the same house I feel bad I'm not able to do so, like guide them in a certain way because I can it's just difficult for me to do that from where I am do you understand and whilst I'm trying to work on myself and trying to better myself as a person I have to prioritize my mental health and as to what I was saying before like I've been setting myself time frames like yeah by the end of the year I needed to reach here and when I didn't reach there I had been beating myself up hard about it I'm like New Year's I said to myself by my birthday I have to be out of here I have to be out of this room I need to be in better situations like I, I can't let the new year catch me and I, no, I can't let my birthday catch me I can't let 19 catch me I can't let a whole year pass and I'm still in the same situation it just can't happen and when I saw it approaching my birthday literally guys I'm telling you that I was having panic attacks on top of panic attacks I'm like how am I still here how am I still here but on top of that COVID-19 happened so obviously I've been under lockdown since lockdown has happened it's been so hard because I've been trying to like keep my mind off it like oh it's just not that deep it's just lockdown use this time to like you know better yourself like continue to be persistent at YouTube and all of these different kind of things and the ideas that I have the ideas that I want to pursue it cannot happen during lockdown because it requires people it requires places it requires this it requires that so when lockdown happened I'm like raw like I can't actually do anything I'm at a standstill like I can't do nothing like time is running out I feel like every like every day that passes I'm looking at it as time is running out time is going to waste and sometimes I can't even do anything because I'm bound to my own bed sometimes I can't even bear to like but sometimes I can't even bear to get out of my bed sometimes and like as much as I try to push myself my mind is just like no you can't like I just feel drained sometimes 2020 was the year that I was looking forward to do great things and it started off at a great start and then obviously my channel got hacked so that had a hindrance on it all as well like literally my analytics has been a mess like all of these different kind of things like that that had, was another major setback I pushed myself so hard and I, and I put a lot of pressure on myself to achieve certain things and when I don't achieve it I beat myself up hard about it and it's like I've been trying to find myself again because I haven't been myself for a really long time I need to stop running on my own time and I run on God's timing because God wouldn't put me through a situation that I wouldn't have been able to handle do you understand what I'm saying to you and I have to look at it that way because there is a reason for everything and you know what I have to be appreciative for life because with life it's a blessing with, and with every day you have life is an opportunity and I'm choosing to not let that go to waste like I, I don't want to will one wallow in my situation I don't want to be you know I don't want to be like, oh, my mum did this to me, this is why I'm a certain way. Like, and in terms of, like, will I ever, you know, rebuild a relationship with my mum or whatever, whatever, like, will I be receptive to preparing things? Like, if she's willing to change and she's willing to mend things and all these different kind of things, like, you kind of have to prove, like, you have to prove to me because I don't want to let you back in my life for you to do the same things all over again because there's only so much one human can take. And, um, you know, I don't feel like she's a completely horrible person. Like, it's just the things that she has done and you know someone said to me people only do what they know and 
you know, I do like there's people out there. I know there's people out there that have love for me that want to see me do well. I know you guys want to see me do well. Certain things I've been through, lots will never know about. So yeah, like it happens to some people. I do completely understand that, and there is worse situations out there. But to be completely honest with you, like when you're going through something, you're not deep in oh other people's going through worse. Like I'm optimistic that there are better days on the horizon. I know for a fact that God did not put me on this earth to be what this. Like I know for a fact that's not that's not what it is, and I just feel like. You know, I just have to sometimes snap out of it and just be like, yeah, you've been through it, you've been through it, but just use it to your advantage. Use it as your motivator, use it as a as a thing to push you because if you don't allow it to push you, it's going to eat you up. And that's what I've been allowing it to do. I've been allowing this whole situation to eat me up. And that's something I should have, I had no, I couldn't really control it, but then I was still feeding into it at the same time. When I started YouTube, it was never for the views, it was never for the money, it was never for the clout, it was never for, never for none of that. It was literally for me to just document my life and be an example for those because I felt like I was alone. And when I put that video out there, it was surprising how many people were out there that, that could relate to my situation. And that alone made me feel better because life has its obstacles and this isn't the only obstacle that I'm going to face. I just feel like this is the biggest one that I could face. And I feel like if I can overcome this, I'm ready to face everything else in life. Literally, guys, going into, stepping into the 19th chapter, I'm declaring it for a year of prosperity, a year for success, a year for healing, a year to do great things. And I'm not allowing this to no longer hinder me like every day I'm going to be working hard I'm going to be pushing harder I'm going to work on myself as a person better myself as a person I don't want everybody else out there going through a situation like me to not use it as something to be embarrassed about use it to your advantage use it as your motivator be look at yourself and be like oh yeah I'm going through this situation but you know what I'm not going to let that define who I am. I'm not going to let that dictate what my future is going to be. You cap your own potential. You're only as great as you allow yourself to be. So don't allow your situation to define who you are as a person. Use it as a way to motivate you, push you. Like the very same situation that you see as a burden can be a motive that could be the very same situation that leads you to success in the future. You have to look at the bright side of things. Although it is hard for me to do so, I am starting to do that now. And I hope each and every one of you like literally stay on my journey with this greatness. And you know, I hope my story, my story, because it's to be continued, inspires some of you guys because I'm definitely trying to work towards better things. And I hope you guys like, comment, and if you're new to the channel, make sure you subscribe because we're on the road to 10K and literally, I will see you in the next video. Bye guys.